I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. The Anne Arundel County Executive signed a new order Friday with even tougher restrictions than Governor Hogan set. Like the state order that all bars and restaurants in Anne Arundel County have to close at 10 o'clock at night. But under the local order, which went into effect tonight at 5, those businesses also have to reduce their indoor seating by 25%. That's different than Hogan's 50% order. An exception to the 25% capacity rule is addiction recovery meetings, which can have up to 50% capacity or up to 100 people. Two women at a public school here in Baltimore City have created a virtual program to help families during the holidays. It's called Operation Santa Claus. People in and around the city can buy presents from an Amazon wish list and send them to Armistead Gardens Elementary School in East Baltimore. And they'll be given out to 30 families. And I think the best part about Operation Santa Claus is just the fact that it just reaffirms that there's so much positive in, in the world after a year that's been really, really challenging for so many people. There are so many wonderful strangers. And you can fill your own Amazon box to help a family and ship it to the school. Just head to WMAR2news.com to find out all the information on how you can help. A Baltimore Ravens pop-up shop is opening in Baltimore just in time for the holidays. It'll be open at the shops at Canton Crossing on Boston Street this coming Monday. It'll be open on certain days from November the 23rd through January the 2nd. And we'll have Ravens merchandise that fans won't be able to find anywhere else. Workers will enforce social distancing. You have to wear a face mask in the store, of course, and 25% capacity limit. Forecast for your Saturday looking pretty good. We'll start off a little bit warmer than the last few mornings in the upper 40s. Good mix of sun and clouds through the day and expecting the temperatures to warm into the low 60s. As we head into the afternoon, temperatures cooling by the 6 o'clock hour into the mid to upper 50s. Daytime highs will still climb to 65 here in the city. 64 in Columbia and Annapolis, 61 out in Stevensville. And the seven day forecast shows some cooler numbers as we head through your Sunday. More clouds and some rain chances as we head into the overnight hours. Those showers will linger into sort of the work week. Daytime highs by Monday at 58. All right, thank you, Patrick. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.